What's up everyone, it's Screw This again from Twinstick.com and this is another side by side for SnowRunner. Uh, today we're going to look at the Freightliner 114 SD and we're going to put that up against a long standing favorite of mine, the Western Star 4964. Alright guys, let's take a look at the Western Star first. Uh, we're going to use the third and best engine option here. Uh, the balanced gearbox will also be used. The off-road one will certainly help in this kind of terrain, but it's not super necessary. And as always, you're, you're looking at extra fuel usage, so I, I just prefer to stick with the balanced one whenever possible. Uh, we are using race suspension, of course. 47-inch off-road tires is our maximum. And uh, we're using all-wheel drive and a lockable differential. And um, I've given both of these trucks the advanced medium winch. This is hands down my favorite truck in the game. I, I really just love everything about it. It can handle all the add-ons minus the seismic vibrator. Um, its big advantage, I think, is its lower center of gravity. It's, it's not as easy to tip over. Uh, it's also pretty decent on fuel usage while carrying quite a lot of it relative to other heavy-duty trucks. So yes, I have already tested the Western Star once against the Taiga. That was in my first side-by-side uh, -side performance video. However, that was my first side-by-side -side performance video, and, and it's really not my greatest. Um, on top of that, I was just looking for a better matchup and something that was more equally built to the Western Star, and that's why it's making an appearance here again. Enter the Freightliner 114 SD. Uh, this truck is going to use the second of two engine options, uh, balanced gearbox for the same reason as the Western Star. Uh, race suspension brings it up very slightly higher. Uh, and that will give it a little bit of an advantage. Uh, using, of course, the maximum 47-inch off-road tires, all-wheel drive and lockable differential, and as mentioned above, I've given it an advanced medium winch. This truck's really capable. It has the same fuel capacity as a Western Star while also being classified as an off-road truck. Uh, it's nearly as powerful and can handle every add-on, including the seismic vibrator. Uh, the advantage here comes from that off-road classification, believe it or not. The front bumper just doesn't hang quite as low to the ground, and its overall right height is a little bit more. Uh, it's a little bit higher, while still being able to remain quite stable over uneven terrain. Uh, the Western Star will take a lead in basic stats, but these are very, very similar vehicles. Alright guys, so for this one, we're on the new Rift map in Tamir. Uh, the route will start here by the old lumber mill, and both trucks are going to take a load of steel to this weirdly placed fuel slash radio station. The road we're taking here is pretty extreme and will provide a full set of challenges for both trucks.
right guys there we have it the western star came in just ahead but only just uh, these are very similar trucks and the results i think are actually really close to that of the fleet star and step video uh, i would call it a functional tie really the lead only actually opened up on that last forest road coming up the hill um, or terrain that actually mattered uh, these trucks were essentially neck and neck the Freightliner is actually the truck that I used to complete the new Rift map, in fact, and I have to say that I really like it quite a lot. The Western Star also does really well here, but that big front bumper really gets in the way sometimes. Of course, that can be changed really easily in the garage, but I obviously didn't do that here. Uh, they both performed, I think, really well, though, over the rocks and the water crossings, and though I didn't take either through the truly deep mud, I think as long as you've got a good winch, i.e. the advanced medium, uh, you're probably okay there as well. To be fair though, the deep mud here is even enough to slow down the Tataran Scout, which is pretty ridiculous. Alright guys, the Western Star is my favorite truck in this game. Still, hands down, I love it. Um, we all know that by now, but I have to say that after using the Freightliner on this map, I would gladly use it for all the same jobs, and I'm a little sorry I didn't pick one up earlier in the game to use. Um, what do you guys think? Do you have a preference of your own? Let me know. Alright guys, I've been Screwless from TwinStick.com. As always, thank you for watching and have a great one.